Now that you have your foundation scope mounted, we're gonna get you zeroed and your zero stop set. Use your supply toolkit. We're gonna take You remove the center screw on top of your EREC knob. There is an O-ring that sits in there that provides a waterproof seal, so make sure you keep track of that. We're gonna shoot a three round group on paper, and from there we're gonna adjust our zero until our point of aim and our point of impact match. Going hot. Now that you shot a three round group to establish your zero, you're going to use the supplied 1 8 Allen key to adjust your elevation. And the easiest way I find to do this is by maintaining pilot control of your rifle and with while holding your, your reticle at your point of aim, you turn the center screw either clockwise or counterclockwise to move your point of aim until it coincides with your point of impact. So I'm going to hold my rifle on target at my point of aim. I'm going to adjust my center screw until my elevation matches my point of impact. Okay. And now I'm going to adjust my windage. Okay. And now my point of aim and point of impact are lined up. I'm going to confirm my zero. We did our shot, going hot. Okay, I need to come in our tenth left. Make adjustment. And on the elevation, I need to come up a click, so. You can do fine adjustments by adjusting your elevation knob with actually the tactile exclusive E-Rec knob, or you can make course adjustments with your center screw. Take one more shot. Nice. I'm happy with that zero, and now I'm gonna float my knob to zero and set my zero stop. You're gonna use the supplied 564th Allen key to loosen the flathead cap screws on top. There is a small O-ring underneath it. Make sure you maintain control of those to ensure your scope stays waterproof. You have a zero stop. You're gonna take that and you're gonna put it on top of the knob. You're gonna turn it until it engages with the zero stop ring. It comes with uh, three 256 set screws in there that you can tighten down with the 35 thou Allen key that's supplied in the toolkit. We uh, install those for extra security but it's totally not necessary. Just the pressure of tightening the cap will hold it in place for most extreme duty uses, but for an extra sense of security, you can set those. So I'm just gonna take it until it stop engages. I'm gonna take my EREC knob cap and put it back on. I'm gonna turn it clockwise until the zero lines up with the indicating ring on the spool. I'm gonna tighten down, set screws on top. Tighten those to roughly five inch pounds just so they're snug. And now my zero stop is set and my knob is zero and have a nice tactile stop. I'm gonna reinsert the silver cap screw on top. I mean, make sure you have that O-ring in there. Gotta snug that down. Again, five inch pounds is more than enough. For your windage knob, you're gonna use the same 564th Allen key to loosen that cap screw. And 
And once you've loosened it, the knob will disengage and you can turn your knob to a zero lines up with the indicator ring. Tighten that down, five inch pounds. Put back on your turret cap. And now your scope is properly mounted, zeroed, and zero stop set, and you're ready for the range.